Hi guys, my name is Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas and Fun Finds Friday. So today is the day, Fun Finds Friday, where I show you all of the fun things that I've got over the past few weeks um, that weren't necessarily thrift items. So this is stuff that I've purchased retail. Um, I did actually get one set of thrifted items. It's my dinner dishes. I found a few of the dinner plates as well as a few of the salad plates or you know, luncheon plates, but I forgot to bring those in. I'll insert a clip. <coughs> Excuse me. I collect the Stratus pattern from False Graph for my dinnerware, um, and when I see them, I just pick them up. Um, I don't see them a lot, but when I do, it's fun, especially when they're only, if they're 99 cents. If they're $1.99, I might not pick them up, but you know, gotta keep the budget though. <laughs> As, long, as much as dishes get broken around here. So, whoop, that's why I love to thrift. Okay, I am going to start off with a giveaway because I work with Personal Planner and I ordered my new 2022 planner and I did it differently this year. Call it decision fatigue, if you will. <laughs> But um, I went with one of their their designs. It's already on their website. Let me back up a little bit. So I've been working with Personal Planner forever. <laughs> like I think since the beginning of my YouTube career. And it's been a while. Um, so I've used this planner every year. I think I've had five six of them maybe. Um, and then I also get the notebooks as well. So this planner is a A5 is the size of it. And what personal planner is, it's a 100% customizable planner that you create. They do have templates. It is super duper easy. You can go as detailed or as plain as you want to and it all costs you the same amount of money for that size planner. I think this planner is $41.99. Pricey but worth every stinking penny. The giveaway that I'm going that I'm working for with you guys is for $62.99 e-gift card to get whatever planner you want and whatever accessories you want from personalplanner.com. They are worth every penny, let me tell you. Okay, so I went very, very basic this year because <laughs> decision fatigue. So, but I do believe this design is just me. So. They come with the little thing that you put on. You get to just pick what color you want. It has a nice hard plastic front and back, but also you can get covers for them, which is really cool, like that slip over them to protect them, like leather or um, vegan leather, or I think there's like an artsy paper type too. They're really cool. I haven't tried them yet. I've always been intrigued. Um, but then they always come with a sleeve as well. A sleeve and then um, a set a sheet of stickers the stickers look like this and a sheet of those and they have all different kinds of stickers that you can order from there as well and then I also have my husky cherry red in there <laughs> because those those tomatoes did so well for me this year that I want to um, remember those are the ones I want to get next year as well so they're already in my next planner and then they also come with a ruler page marker of your choice of color. I get, I got clear. I've been getting clear for a little while. I have quite a few of these. I just keep collecting them because I'll put them in all different sp spots in my planner and you'll see why in a moment. All right. Also, because of decision fatigue, I always start my planners on Monday and go to Sunday. My husband thinks I'm crazy, but that's the way the week flows for me. I start my week, my brain starts on Monday and ends on Sunday, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> um, but I went completely blank this year. So, this is all customizable. Um, 
so you can get a design up here. However, there is one thing that I did last year that I loved and I continued this year is I have them put in my um, family birth dates every, um, that just one time in every year, it'll give me their birth day, um, you know, it'll notify me and it will tell me how old they are, which is amazing. Um, and then I usually use this for meals for the month. There's like a little section here. Can you see that? There's a little section here that it has meals for the month. And then when you get to the weekly, I chose the vertical on one page weekly. Um, and then I just did lines on this side right here. And then on this side, I just did lines as well. Last year I did the dot grid um, because you can get these filled in any way as well. You can get dot grid, you can get lines, you can get gray, white, gray, white. I don't know what that, I can't remember what it's called. You also can get lists over here. This page is fully customizable. And then down here you get like, I got meals over here. Um, left this place blank. They always have the um, month at a glance right there. And then you, this place is completely customizable as well, but I just went with lined, kept everything super duper simple. I'm kind of excited about that to see what I come up with for this. Okay, let's talk about this page. You can get these in vertical all the way across like a month or a week on two pages, or you can get them horizontal a week on two pages. You can get them vertical a week on one page like what I did. You can go horizontal a week on one page and then they have all, and then when you do the week on one page, this is 100% customizable, which I love. And then in the back of your planner, you have 48 pages of customizable stuff that you can put back there. 48 blank pages. They start out blank and then you tell them what you want in there and there's a bunch of stuff that you can pick from. So I always get the, the yearly overview. So this is the 2020 overview. And this is where I plan all of my YouTube videos. I can see what's there and then every week I can go back to the back of my planner, say, okay, these are the videos that I need to work on this week. This is what needs to be get done and I can move that into my weekly planner. And then um, I went with complete dot grid in the back. Um, let's see if I can get it back. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I'm going to pull up real close and hopefully you can see it. But that's all I did because I like to draw things out in my planner. Um, for example, uh, my garden, how I'm going to plant my garden. Uh, I like to design things. Like if I have an idea for something I want to do in the house, I'll draw it in my planner and I'll try to get it to scale as best as I can in this little bit of space. Um, and that is really fun for me. I really enjoy doing that. And on the back, I just went with a simple little floral design and I am golden. Now this planner does cost only $41.99 and, um, you know, the gift card is for $62.99. So I, I, this time, I did this last time too, and they were so popular among my kids, I needed to do it again. But these are the G2s, the Pilot G2s in the 07 size, and I love these. I get them in the um, pastel. Last year, I did not get white. I'm excited to get white, because you know, you only have a white pen, you can dark, draw um, like, on darker colored papers and it is I'm excited to do that I've never had one of those before so I'm excited now these I'm gonna say are spendy on a personal planner I think they're like four dollars or maybe even five dollars a piece no that can't be right that can't be right I don't remember how much they are um, because I did not go over budget <laughs> and there are two four six of them here so but um, I do not mind giving them, you know, spending my money at Personal Planner because they are such a good, good company. Um, it does, because they are com customizable, it usually takes a week or two, and it, that's what they tell you, but it never takes them that long for me, um, to, to 
print your planner because it's designed by you remember it's all customizable and then it's coming from Sweden so it takes a couple of weeks to get here as well although this time it was pretty fast for me which I was really excited about because I expected it to take longer with all the stuff that's going on in the world right now but um, so to enter for this giveaway I would like to you to tell me one of your goals for 2022 what you're looking forward to or what one of your hopes is for 2022 and leave that down in the comments and I will do a random comment picker oh goodness let me look at my let me look at my phone and I will tell you when I'm going to end the giveaway I am going to end the giveaway I'll give it two weeks on October 15th at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time okay so it's exactly two two weeks and um, I will do a random comment picker on that day you have to be 18 years of age to enter the giveaway sorry but the giveaway is for anyone in the world um, they will ship anywhere so because it's an e-gift card right and shipping's free by the way when you order from them so um, let's see it ends on the 15th, they said, at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. It's for a $62.99 e-gift card from Personal Planner, so you can get your own awesome planner. And I will send that to you via email on that day. You have, I'm going to give you um, until, let's see, the 15th is on a Friday. I will give you till Monday. Uh, the... Um, the 17th to claim the prize. If it is not claimed by the 17th, I'm going to pick another winner. So that can um, happen. Okay, so, I love my planner. Okay, I'm gonna move those over here and tell you about, okay. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I picked up that I did haul in a thrift with me video, but some of you don't watch my thrift with me videos and prefer my fun finds Friday. So I'm going to show you two things that I hauled there. Um, and they were actually retail. So that is perfect. Um, and these were from Michael. They were the Ashland and it says, fall, um, you know, a fall pick and they were $9.99. I did get them 40% off. So they were $6. Um, I picked up, three of these I've already used two of them I saved one so I could show you guys um, and I will insert a clip in a moment um, of what I did with those so far and then another thing I picked up was from TJ Maxx I took the price tag off I can't remember exactly how much it was it was either $12.99 or $14.99 I want to say $12.99 but it is this beautiful wood cutting board or charcuterie board I'm using it on my kitchen table this is so beautiful. Look at the wood tones. <gasps> I love it so, so much. I'm gonna stop gushing over wood. I really love wood. <laughs> oh, I should title my video that. I would get a lot of nasty comments. <laughs> a lot of nasty people on my channel. Um, <laughs> oh, this video is going in the gutter quick. Okay, anyways, let's move on. I'll, sh I'll insert a clip of what I did with those. Then I ordered something from Amazon and I order these all the time. I'm out and it shows. So I got this. Um, this is my teeth whitening kit. This is the same exact stuff I get that I get from my dentist, but so much cheaper on Amazon and it works so, so well. It's just amazing. I put it in my teeth trays. If you don't have teeth trays, you can get them at Walmart as well. Super easy. You don't have to pay the dentist. And um, I put them in my teeth trays, wear them to bed, wake up in the morning, rinse out, rinse my mouth out. I drink my coffee and then brush my teeth because I don't want to brush my teeth right after having this on. So um, maybe I'm doing it backwards though. I don't know. It seems to work for me. But I haven't started using it yet. I will put a link for this down in the comments. I think this stuff is worth its weight in gold. <laughs> it works so, so well. I really need to start doing it again. So I got that. 
Um, if you have sensitive teeth like me, I have super sensitive teeth, I will do it once or twice a week and that's plenty for me. Um, and I only do it for like a week or two. So, but if you have more yellow teeth, you might have to do it more. I don't know. Um, I've been using this for a while. So, um, you know, okay. All right. So it is fall and every fall I have been trying to pick up a Faribault blanket. I've been trying to collect them. This year I found one wool Faribault blanket when I was out thrifting with my friends, Robin Johnson and Nicole Northgarden here on YouTube. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little asthmatic today. And, um, and it was black and brown. I kind of prefer the acrylic ones, so they're so much softer um, and they're just, I don't know, they're a little bigger. I, I just like them. So this, I found this one actually on Facebook Marketplace because I haven't found one in the stores and it is just this blue and white plaid. I love it so much. There's the tag down there if you're wondering what a Faribault blanket. They're made out of Faribault, they're Faribault woolen mills um, out of Faribault, Minnesota, and they have the beautiful tassel at the bottom. This one I do need to take um, like a fuzz buster to. Um, it does have a little bit of pilling going on, but I don't care. These blankets are so nice and so well made. If I can get them for cheap on Facebook, I will, or especially at Goodwill, right? You always pay a little bit more when you buy things off Facebook, but I grabbed that. I cannot wait to, it's already been washed. Um, I can't wait to style it in my um, living room. Okay, <coughs> then I splurged big time. <laughs> you guys, I splurged big time. I don't usually spend this kind of money. I forgot one thing. I need to go grab it before I finish this video. I don't usually spend this kind of money on myself unless it's a purse. <laughs> and this, um, or shoes, right? This was a big splurge, splurge for me. But Martha Stewart started a new website. It's called Martha.com. So I was on that thing so fast because I love Martha's stuff. It's always of really good quality and timeless. And wait till you see this. I found this guy. Look, it's a Jadeite cake stand. Let's see if you can see it a little better there. It looks like that. There's the top there and there's Martha. I don't know how you guys feel about Martha, but I love her. And I think this is just so beautiful. I recently redid my kitchen and I painted my cabinets and added corbels and beadboard and peg rail and oh my gosh, it is just, I am so happy with it. It is stunning. Um, I will put a link to that video down below for you guys if you're interested. I did it on a $250 budget, completely redid my kitchen and I am over the moon about it. It looks so good um but once i did that i was craving more color and green is my color so that is why i went with this a classic and timeless piece that is so cottage and country and just oh i love it so much and it looks so good i'm so happy with it okay <laughs> then i found a couple more things i was really excited about these because i get these at walmart they're 97 cents a piece and they have not had them in forever so when i walked by and i saw these i grabbed six of them i've already torn one apart mm -hmm, and used it up um, in my decor in different places you'll see that well you will probably already have seen one of them and it looks like this. I got six of them, so they look like this. Now, when you buy them, they're like kind of dusty and gross looking. <laughs> but what I do, it's like this, like the powder they put on them. So if they, they get hot, um, I'm sure in shipping or something that they don't like melt together or stick together or something. Um, but what I do is I just fill up my sink with some soapy water, some Dawn dish soap and water, and I tuck it down in and I swish it around really, really well. And then I pull it out and rinse it off. And then I just blot them dry with a, uh, a regular dish towel. And they turn out the most beautiful green um, and they don't look all dusty and gross. So I got six of these bad boys. Aren't they beautiful? They are so beautiful. Um, and even though it, they're not technically for fall, I use them all year around. Okay, so 
when I went to um, TJ Maxx and I bought the cutting board, I had a tray in my hand and I was like, I'm either gonna get the tray or I'm going to get the cutting board. And I opted for the cutting board. But I got home and I was like, oh, I kind of really wish I would have gotten the tray too. But I try to stick to my budget, people. <laughs> I try real hard. Um, so I didn't get the tray. But then I thought about it all week. <laughs> I was like, oh man. So I went back to TJ Maxx to look for that tray and I found it. And then I was walking around a little bit and, the, and I found a, another one I liked even better. Um, and it is, how much was it? It was $16.99 and it looks like this. They had two sizes of them at TJ Maxx. I love this metal detail. Although it's a little green for my taste. Like that, it's like a, a greenish gold. And I think I'm gonna rub and buff it to my antique brass or antique, yeah, I think it's antique brass. Color or antique gold maybe. Um, I'm going to rub and buff these with that because I, it's kind of green and I don't love it. Um, but I love the detail on it. So <laughs> again, me with my wood tones. Um, I'll show you the price tag. I didn't take it off so you guys could see this one. Let's see, hopefully that is focusing. And it is just beautiful and it's solid wood. It had a tag on it that said it was made in India. Oh, I love this thing so much. It is so pretty and I realized that I only have one tray and it's round and I put it on top of my cabinets. So I don't have anything to use as a tray to like, well, I have a lap desk. I could use that, I suppose. Um, but as of like a, like a legit tray, I don't have anything that I can use. Um, I have used, however, basket lids. I have used, uh, what else have I used? I've used all kinds of things. I have used um, serving platters. I have used just pieces of wood. I have used cutting boards, like the one that I'm, I've showed you already. Um, all kinds of things to use as trays to corral things, make grouping. Um, but I wanted an actual tray and I really love this one. So I grabbed it. And so this was the biggest splurge. I, okay, let me step back again because I tend to go ahead. Um, every fall I splurge and I get myself one new thing for my wardrobe. It's usually a pair of shoes or a purse or something like that. Just one nicer thing and that's what I splurge on for my fall wardrobe. And then almost everything else is thrifted. So this was the item that I picked up this year and it is, I can't wait to show you. Now it's already scuffed up and stuff, um, but I love it so much. I actually love the scuffs. I think it just gives it so much more character. But this is a Portland leather tote bag and this is what I use as my purse. I love it because I can just go shopping and just throw stuff in my purse you know, so I don't have the receipt, right? And I got something on it here and I've got it scratched up from my fingernails from digging my per or my phone in and out of here. And I love it. It does have the crossbody bag and it is gorgeous. I got the one with the zipper and they do have some without zippers. They also have a mini size. They have all kinds of cool stuff, but I want to peek inside my purse. <laughs> it looks like, I don't know if you will see it like this. It does have one pocket right here. Um, and I just, I just love it. It is pretty wide open inside. And this is what I've been carrying. Oh my gosh. I love this thing so, so much. And I'm going to tell you, it was expensive. It was over a hundred dollars, but I was so stupid. I can't believe I did this. I never do this, but there was a 25% off coupon that I forgot to use. I don't make mistakes like that. I, I do what I can to save a buck, but I made that mistake this time. Okay, so that is actually everything that I purchased for this Fun Finds Friday. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some ideas. That purse, if you have it, would be an amazing Christmas gift or birthday gift or anniversary gift. So fun. Um, yeah, but 
cake stand too, right? <laughs> um, so Christmas is coming. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll check you later. Bye guys.